Hey, it's Patrick from Create. I'm going to try live building an app on Create that uses the 11 Labs API to do um, text to speech. So, um, 11 Labs is a great uh, product with a really powerful voice API and can do text to speech, speech to text, uh, dubbing, voice cloning. Um, this is really cool. You can have uh, your own voice um, or a celebrity's voice or things like this um, in the product. So, let me just show you a quick example of uh, an app that I built with um, with the OpenAI Whisper API to show you an example of what this looks like. So here's a little chat um, interface that uses chat GPT to chat back and forth and captures voice. So uh, let's try it out. How are you doing? It'll process the audio. Hopefully. So let's try it out here because I had a long pause at the start. I'm doing great. Thanks. How about you? And it'll respond and speak back. Um, and uh, we wrote some functions here to connect to the OpenAI API. And we're going to try the same thing with 11 Labs. So the only thing that I uh, came and set up ahead of time is I went ahead and I already um, well, I clicked Get Started up here. And then in the dashboard, I went through their onboarding flow and I created some API keys already. So I just created a key. Um, I didn't want to have that on the video. Um, and I came in to create, started a new project. I started a new function um, as well. By the way, you can come in here, click new function or option F. And then in the secrets tab over here, I added the secret for the 11 labs API key. Okay, so let's start by getting the function. We're going to take text as an input. And we're going to um, return audio. So um, let's go ahead and give this a try and see how it works. So I'm going to uh, also use the voice in uh, browser um, extension to record some of the commands. So lots of voice here. Um, function to take text as an input and return audio. It will use the 11 Labs API. All right. So <laughs> going all the voice here. Let's uh, let's try something else. All right. So now we're going to have to tell it how to do that. So it has the API key, but it's not going to know necessarily how to connect to the API unless I give some instructions. So I came to the documentation in 11 labs, which from the dashboard you can get to just here, docs, and then documentation. I went ahead and pulled that up already. Now if I just scroll down and getting started, you can see here under text to speech, it's got some information and some code on how to connect to the library um, with some information um, on what to do. So let's go ahead and let's um, let's just copy this code. Um, and this looks like it's going to be okay. It doesn't use any like NPM specific packages other than just requests in JSON, which can all be handled pretty um, straightforward. Um, and create will do all these translations. So let's come in here, follow the format of this code. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and hit generate and let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. So it generates some code for me. It's getting the 11 labs API key that I entered before from process.env, which is great. Um, okay, now let's see here. The model 11 labs multilingual. So it got a model for us. Great. Um, voice ID. Let's see here. The API key. Let's see how it works. We might need to specify a voice. Um, let's go and test this out. Oh, you can pass in the voice ID. Interesting. Let's see if I leave it blank, let's see what happens. Okay. So, hello, how are you? We'll run the function. Awesome, let's view the detail. Okay, so there was a request Voice not found. A voice for the voice ID undefined is not found. So this is the thing. So we got to go get a voice ID. Now let's go find it. Um, OK. 
Okay, let's see. Voice ID. Okay. Clearing the TTS endpoint. Okay. I'm going to use. Okay, let's just get it via the website. Let's click this, keep this simple. Okay, ID my voice. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go to my tab. Let's go to voices here. Let's do Alice. Just trust yourself, then you will know how to live. Great, British accent. Let's go to use. Um, okay, let's go back to voices. View. And here's the ID. So I just copied the voice ID. Um, let's go back to create. Let's try this again with the prompt. Okay, hello, how are you? I'll run the function. Looks like it's working. Okay, awesome. So return the audio content. Fantastic. All right, so we'll get the, uh, the app to read this. Um, okay, so now if I go back, let's go and just like edit the code directly. Let's take a look at the prompt, what it needs. Voice ID, voice ID. Okay, so let's say, actually, let's just paste it in. Um, use this voice ID. Kind of cool that it can be flexible. Um, and let's regenerate. Let's see what happens. Okay, up to date. All right, so it's got the voice ID, it's added this in, should be passing this, and it's no longer taking uh, voice ID as an input. Let's go test. Let's say, hello, how are you? Let's make sure this works. Awesome, so it is working, great. All right, so now let's build a quick UI. So I'll come back to the main page here, and let's do this again. Let's use the voice in chat interface that looks like ChatGPT. Let's now, okay, use slash chat. <laughs> All right, pause one sec. <laughs> Too much. All right, use slash chat GPT. Uh, T to respond to messages. Um, and let's just run this first to try it out, and then we'll add the uh, text to speech. Okay, I'll start generating the code for us. Expand this real quick. Here we can try it out. Just go to demo mode. Let's see. Hello, how are you? And it's doing the response. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is working. Computer program doesn't have feelings. Um, that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Let's skip one quick instruction. Use uh, enter to hit, oh, <laughs> if you hit enter, send a message. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. And let's say, when it replies with a message, read the message aloud. show an audio wave um, animation to indicate that sound is playing. And now let's say use, we'll go to the function we just made, the text audio converter um, to handle um, text to speech. All right, let's hit generate.
we have a built-in one, but it won't use all the voices that um, the Whisper API has or Eleven Labs have. So very easy as a team to to add your own um, integrations if you want to. Okay, cool. So let's try this out. So I'll say hello. Hello, how can I assist you today? Okay, so there's a little bit of buffer, but uh, it spoke out loud. I didn't really like the animation, um, so let me actually get rid of that. Um, show an audio wave, uh, small audio wave animation um, next to the, the reply bubble. Um, small, yeah, wave dot animation. Okay, cool. Let's try this. Let's see if it looks a little better. Tell me some fun facts about San Francisco. All right, so now we've got uh, Android green bubbles. Let's see. Oh, wow, we've got a lot. <laughs> this is going to take a long time to process. <laughs> so I might go in here and I might say something like, yeah, respond with uh, two sentences max. Um, I'll hit regenerate. I can come in here. I can look at the code. You can go and edit the, the prompts as well. So you see as it's coming in, um, here's actually going to be like <laughs> the message. Oh, it's going to take a little bit of time. So it's like streaming the code in. One sec. Just be patient. <laughs> All right. That's that. So here um, it's sending the messages uh, down here. And um, yeah, here are the assistant messages. And um, let's see if I can get the prompt exactly. Oh, it's going to pass back and forth. But I could have some more information here, like, you know, only use uh, two messages. Sure, here are some fun flight. facts about San Francisco. Oh, now I finally caught up. Um, One golden I'm gate. <laughs> Let's not keep hearing it. <laughs> so for long text, obviously, it's going to take a lot. So you can start getting here and uh, giving some more instructions. If I start to specify the UI, I'll get some fun changes. I always think it's fun to use our style guides. Um, I'm partial to this neon one. Sapporo and others are fun. Let's go ahead and save these changes. I'm going to hit um, regenerate, and it'll apply that style guide so you can get a fun look and feel. Or you can type in directly um, what the UI should look like, and the LLM will generate that. As this is building, too, I'll just call out. So we just did the text audio. Um, it was super easy. And if I came here, as we can see in the getting started section, you know, I'm just doing the text-to-speech API, but they have speech-to-speech. -speech. Um, they have speech-to-text and other things too. So really powerful, really flexible. And yeah, um, it's trivially easy to add more of these functions. Um, as you can see, I did this with the Whisper API. I've got one for text-to-speech as well as speech-to-text. Um, I did a Cloudinary um, audio file upload integration here too. Um, you just make more of these functions. It's going to remember your secrets, and you just paste in the code samples, um, just like you saw. So with that, here, it's following kind of the new format. Let's do a quick demo. Tell me some fun facts. I'll hit enter. Let's see. Typing. Absolutely. Here are some fun facts that might surprise you. One, bananas are berries, but strawberries aren't. Botanically speaking, bananas are classified as berries, while strawberries are not. Cool. And as you can see here, it's applied some markdown formatting, which is how these models typically reply. So you can say um, use slash markdown renderer to get the output looking nice. Um, we've already got something working. Um, more interestingly, I can come here and I can just click share. I can go view the page. Now, if I share it this way, I've got a working chat app with voice built in. I can share this page with anyone, and they'll see the prompt that I used to get there, as well as the iterations that I did. Or I can come back, and I can go ahead and I can publish this page. 
and I can publish it to a subdomain. Let's say like 11 labs voice demo dot created dot app. So cool. And I'll publish these changes. Let's go here. I can view it live. And this exists as a full page app anywhere. And just the last quick thing to show back on the share page, I can actually embed this. So if I wanted to have this um, embedded on another website or web page or in um, another application that can take iframes, I can have this uh, functional voice chat interface. Um, super easy. So I'm taking a look down at the time. Um, we got something working in just about 15 minutes. And yeah. I didn't have to write any code myself. I just copied and pasted some code samples, pasted in some API keys and described exactly what I want. Um, some of it using the voice in browser extension in Chrome, which is great by the way. Um, and yeah, um, we've got something uh, working great with 11 labs. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, I'll share the link and check it out.